hello once again welcome to my videos and we are still continuing with inserting or putting passwords on our Microsoft Office files in the previous video we looked at how to insert passwords on Microsoft Word files this time round let us look at how to insert uh, work I mean passwords in Excel what? files uh, let us dive straight into it and we see how this happens so we come back to our folder where we have our files this time we are looking at the test sample for excel i open it up um, so supposing we had this kind of data and we wanted to protect it with the password so what i would do i would go to file uh, let's zoom in so we go to file, then we say save as, then we still come back to our option just like in Microsoft Word, the tools, then we go to general options. Uh, here now there are additional objects which you can add. For example, for one reason or another you might uh, forget the password. So that's why it ask, asks you to check this option which says create a backup copy in case you forget the password so i'll tick it then i'll put the password one two three four uh, again uh, this is now a password to modify this one is to open but the password to modify will allow you to make changes to the work then i put in the read only in case somebody doesn't have the password to modify and i say Okay, ask me to confirm. And okay, and save. Yes. So let us close the file and we try to reopen it. Notice now in our folder we have a backup uh, copy of the file. This is what you open in case you've forgotten your password. But let us open this one which we are interested in. The one which has our password. So we shall open it. Uh, so it will ask us for the password. Then we say OK. Then the password to modify. So if we don't put the password to modify, it means we can't make changes to that file. So let's put the password as well to modify and we say OK. Uh, and it says you the, the text sample xls.x should be open as a read only unless you need to save changes to it. Open as read only. If you say yes, it will open as read only. If you say no, it will open, allowing you to make some changes uh, which you can also save. You see that the save button now works. If I had said no, the changes wouldn't be active. You could, the only way you could make a save or a change is by saving a different copy of the document, but not in this particular document. So uh, that is how we put a password there. Now, let us look at the backup copy. I'm closing this and we look at the backup copy. Um, this backup copy now, when we try to open it, uh, and me. so we try to open our backup copy. Since I have two versions of Excel, so it might take me a while to open them. So you still ask me for my password. Put it in, and I say yes. Uh, put it in, and I say okay. So if I have, I want to. I don't want to make changes. So I would say yes. So in this version now, when I open, 
and try to save. Notice that it's now not allowing me to what? To save. It says backup of test sample is read only to save a copy of it. Click OK, then give the workbook a name in the save as dialog box. So if I say OK, it will give me the dialog box to save another version but not saving in this particular one. So that is how we do that in Microsoft Excel, how to put a password on Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.